Hey everybody, we're going to talk about proving parallelograms in a coordinate plane. So there's three ways that we can um, prove parallelograms in a coordinate plane. The first one is by just using the distance formula. Um, and when we do that, we need to prove that AB is congruent to DC and AD is congruent to BC. So that's like one of the qualifications of being um, a parallelogram where the opposite sides are congruent. The second method is using the slope method. So by using the slope formula, we need to show that AB um, is parallel to, to CD and AD is parallel to BC. So that's another qualification of being a parallelogram is having opposite sides parallel to each other. So if they have the same slope, that means they're parallel, so it's a parallelogram. Um, the last one is using the distance and slope. So you only need to do this for one pair of sides. So we can show that AB is congruent to DC and that AB is parallel oh, sorry, to DC. So what that means is, is if those two lines are the same length and the same slope, it automatically falls that these two lines are the same length and the same slope. So when we do a parallelogram, we need, oh goodness gracious, we need to make sure that you label it the correct way. So A, B, C, D. You need to go around in one cohesive um, rotation. You can't skip around, like it has to be in a specific order. So you are gonna find the distance of AB, the distance of BC, the distance of CD, and the distance of AD. And I'm just going to write the answer to this because we obviously we know how to find the distance formula. So we get the square root of 68, square root of 164, square root of 68, square root of 164. So you have that AB and CD are the same and the other two signs. So yes, this is a parallel, parallelogram. We need to find PQ. QR, RS, and PS. So you have 104, 61, 82, and 61. So right here, these two are not the same. So it is not a parallelogram. The next we're gonna use a slope formula. So for this one, we just need to find the slope. So um, you need to find the slope of all four sides. So W, X, Y, Z. So W, X, X, Y, Y, Z, W, Z. So to find the slope, you're doing like y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So you get this slope to be negative 1 over 4, negative 7 over 4, negative 1 over 4, and negative 1. So this is not a parallelogram because um, x, y, and w, z are not the same slope. So um, the slope of EF is one third, slope of FG is five over two, slope of GH is one over three, slope of EH is five over two. So we do have um, opposite sides that are parallel, EF and FG, and um, FG and EH. So this is a, oops, that is not a yes. Mm the word I meant, but that yes, this is a parallelogram. Whoop.
So if we remember for this one, J, K, L, M, you just need to do um, the distance and slope of one set of sides. So let's do J, K, and M, L. So if you find the distance of J, K, you're going to get the distance of J, K to be square root of 25, and the distance of L, M, L to also be the square root of 25. And then if you do the slope of each one, you're going to get 3 over 4 and 3 over 4. So this is yes because they are congruent and the same slope. So let's do ST and UV. The distance of ST is the square root of 85 and the distance of UV is the square root of 293. You could stop here but I'm also going to show you that the slope is 2 over 9 and the slope is 2 over 17. So as long as you know that your distance is for sure, distances aren't the same, then it's not, it's not a parallelogram. Okay, so I hope that helped.